Now, please don't skip the start of the video on this one. I've timestamped everything below in the description, but there's actually four iconic weapons you can obtain related to this quest in Cyberpunk 2077. And it's very easy to miss three of them. In fact, you'll need to make a decision on which one to choose because it's currently impossible to get all of them. So in this video, I'll explain how you can get at least three of them for yourself and which one you should definitely choose. And if you like these sort of completionist videos, make sure you subscribe as well. So these iconic weapons are obtainable during a series of side quests, which are basically one big quest called Holding On, Second Conflict, and A Like Supreme, which this video is a full walkthrough for. Obviously though, you can use the timestamps to find all the iconic weapons in the video. You'll also need to do this side quest to Romance Carry and unlock Johnny Silverhand's secret ending. But to get this side quest, you must first complete the following quests. So firstly, you need to complete the main quest, Search and Destroy, which will finish with Tapeworm. After you've completed the main quest, Tapeworm, you'll get given the side quest called Chipping In. Once you've done this quest, you'll get the side quest, Blistering Love. And then after you finish that, you'll get the side quest holding on. And then that will carry on to Second Conflict and A Like Supreme, which is what this video is about. Meet Johnny by the North Oak sign. The whole time I was flat on my digital arse, Mikoshi Kerry was out there forging his glittering solo career. So you've got to come over here on the map to Westbrook and meet Johnny just here by the North Oak sign near the roundabout just here. This is actually one of the places in the game you can get this super nice Arandite card. Though I do believe you need like 50 street cred and 225,000 to buy it. I'm not going to bother because Johnny's Porsche is a lot cooler looking in my opinion. This ought to work. Great, so why are we here? Well, so why are we here exactly? Heard Kerry got himself a buck of mansion here. Done well. Where do you hear anything about Kerry? In and about town. Scream sheets are full of shit about him. Oh, right. You weren't around. Mm-hmm. Your big night out. So what? Wanna pay him a visit? Yep. Seems as good a time as any. So I gotta hit Carrie's digs, look around, critique the drapes? Know what they're writing about him? He's depressed. Attempted suicide. What, really worried he wants to hurt himself? Who knows? Either way, could give him some pointers. Meaning you want to go in person. Gotta hand you the reins again. Yes. Behaved myself last time, didn't I? I think I warrant another furlough for good behavior. Attempted suicide, eh? What was that about attempted suicide? Amateur hour. Didn't even cobble together the right audience. Tried to put a bullet through his skull in his room. Bodyguard took his gun like candy from a baby. Could just be the rumor mill. Sure, could. But I want to know. Makes sense. First for Carrie, then for who? <laughs> uh huh. First Rogue, now Carrie. Who's next on the list of conjugal visits? Nobody. Just so happens the list of people I consider friends and who are still alive is pretty damn short. Exactly why I need to talk to Carrie. Nope, don't trust you. Nah, we'll definitely let him. Okay, but I want to know what you plan to do. Nothing stupid, I promise. Just want to see how he's doing. How you plan to tell him it's you? Could be dealing with some real personal shit right now. Might not be the best time to mess with his head. V-Care was always dealing with personal shit. That's why, in spite of everything else, we got along. Don't worry. I'll play it by ear, sensitively. First things first. We gotta get into that house. Okay. Just let me know when you want to take the wheel. Alright, so we've spoken to Johnny. Now we just need to get into Carrie's house, which is actually pretty easy to do. Porsche is the best off-road car in the entire game. So Carrie's mansion is just over here on the map. Okay, well, it doesn't seem like Carrie wants to visit us today, so instead we can just jump over the wall here. Now, if you have a car, just drive it up along the wall and then you can jump over it, but I've got double jump, so we can just walk up on the wall here. Jesus Christ. 
Now, Kerry does have guards, obviously. But I must say, his mansion is very beautiful. His guards are actually robots, which is pretty cool. Excuse me, sir. Oh, a legendary item. Legendary components. Very nice. And a rare weapon you have. All right, let's go on inside Kerry's house. Fugly as seafood barf. Hope it was expensive, at least. Something's got to justify this level of tacky. It does look pretty tacky. He's got the golden flamingo. There's a mix of different artworks going on here. Seems like there's a lot of things over there to scan as well. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Cookie cutter crap straight from a catalog. Doubt Carrie picked this. Always ate out. Always. Well, this table is pretty ridiculous. Oh, there's a glass wall here. As if you're just walking into his garden. Like, yeah, that's fine. Grand piano, of course. Bit of graffiti on the wall. Very nice. Very classy. Oh, look. Never fade away. Never fade away. Guess if I had a fave, it'd be that one. Okay. <laughs> Even I know that one. An oldie but a goodie. What's... Second conflict. Carried always goes straight for kitsch with titles. Guess nothing's changed. What's... Old single we put out. No idea why Carrie hoards shit like that. Well, he kind of misses you, probably. Second Conflicts, Collector's Edition. Chippin' In, Collector's Edition. Never Fade Away. And the final one, Blistering Love. Which is actually the quest we just did prior to this, where we got to Romance Rogue. Damn, this game looks uh, good. Beautiful butterfly carry emerging from his silky samurai chrysalis. I mean, the guy looks pretty damn cool, not gonna lie. Got the samurai outfit. These windows are sick. Like, if you could afford that, like, Jesus Christ. This guy is rich even for Night City. Why is there a knife here? And there's a picture frame of someone that we don't know who that is. Do you guys know who that is? Must be somebody. All right. I'll give him that one. Ha! The drum kit as well. Wicked bad collection. Well, now I am impressed. Played a few of these myself back in our samurai days. Probably still plays them. Vintage guitar, Astro Rock, 2058. Acts like that run as many Eddies. Forget it, we couldn't afford it. That's Carrie's fave. So this is where Carrie actually is, showering currently. So let's go and have a look upstairs before we actually speak to him. See what else his apartment holds. Half eaten hamburger sitting on the couch there. Very nice. Betty sits here and thinks, the fuck I need all this shit for? That view, though. God damn. Doesn't even have a balcony, mate. What's he doing? So many chairs sitting in the middle of nowhere. Seems like a lot of empty space. More like an art gallery than someone's home. Very yummy. The bar is in good stock, though. And he has a lot of beef. Who is Lizzy Wizzy pretending? We actually uh, did the Lizzy Wizzy side quest in our live stream. And I also made a video about how to get her gun too. If you guys want to watch the live streams, by the way, you can obviously just press the bell icon, then YouTube will let you know. Probably the only actual necessity in this whole pad. The bed. True story. Why is there a pool cute in bed? Okay, so you've got to go downstairs then. And interrupt him while he's in the shower. Looks like he's showering. Alone, too. Good thing, believe me. Okay, leave the rest to me. I'll get him out of there. 
Okay, Johnny. Interestingly, we can't go through ourselves. That would be like cool if you could Drop just go one through of anyway. These special pills. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Oh damn! Oh, this so much better. Now let's see what you're up for show and which you're actually strummable. This is sick. What's sick way of getting his attention? Never fade away. Chipping in. God, we never fade away. We lost everything. Who the fuck? Keep playing. <laughs> Played enough, you know who I am. Well, all right. Johnny? Gary? No. <laughs> no. no this is some fucking joke. Hang on. What did Silverhand tell me before he died? Testing me. Visit test. Could we just play you another song? Answer me. Told you to leave Samurai. Go your own way. Clearly I was right, as I often am. Johnny fucking Silverhand. Fuck. I mean, how? Surprise. Motherfucker! Says you right, Johnny. Okay, weren't expecting me. I get it. Oh fucking contraire! Been waiting 50 years to do that. She so had changed a bit. Sporting a new style, trying to stay hip. You look good. Not looking all bad yourself either. Shit. Johnny. Oh man, I need a drink. Alright. Come on. Tell me. Why do you look like a small-time kleptopunk from the afterlife? God damn, this is V. Long as you tell me what you got in your throat. Always did complain I couldn't carry a tune. Nice place. Ain't seen much of it yet. Moved in after the fourth album came out. All sold well, apparently. Fuck you, Johnny. Don't even start. Who'd you sign with? Shit. With Arasaka. Mornings, I record at their studio. Then evenings, Yori pops over for a little neighborly cookout. An insult to Johnny's memory, though. After he knew, God. <clears throat> and who'd you really sign with? MSM Records. Oh, it's a joke. Another okay, good. pillar of society. Come on. Sit down with me. Tell me where you've been all this time. Live here all by your lonesome? Nah, got my cook, Ariel, but he's off today. Miguel... What am I... Not your biz, June. Sit down. Start talking. Steal yourself for a long story. I just really want it to be tragic. Sad as all fuck over all those years. Cause if I hear you spent them with the nomads, open road, winning your hair, or cool and relaxed in orbit, and now you've just popped by to shit all over my life, well, I'ma lose my damn mind. Well, firstly, that glass is empty. See for yourself. Listen, judge for yourself. Oh, come on. Show me the seat. Oh, fuck. Remember? The one damn time Henry showed up sober and clean as a whistle. Uh-huh. And played absolute tripe. At least Danny was happy. Looking at him now, those really were the best of times. Playing fucking rat-infested dumps. Argued before every gig. Had no idea what we wanted to play, and never had an ed to our name. 
Nancy? Control freak. Henry smelled like zappers and piss. I was always stealing your pants. Hella good times, man. Never did get what Denny saw in that guy. I mean, smart in that one. Maybe too smart for the company she kept. Nah, Denny always went for losers, incapable of dressing themselves. Oh, Hank was perfect. Half a brain and high all the time. She got to rescue him over and over again. Why'd she never try and fix me? Would have had to get in line, that's why. <laughs> Stuff about you being depressed. It true. Nope. Promo strategy. Suicide attempts too. Think putting a bullet through your skull will help your sales? Didn't work for you. Nobody remembers Samurai. Now you're just butthurt because I managed fine without you. That's why he's got that stuff about Lizzie Wizzy, because she was the other singer you can also meet in the game, who's a cameo of Grimes, the singer that exists in real life. And her storyline is that she became famous because she's completely made out of chrome, and the trauma team saved her when she committed suicide at one of her gigs. Um, so, yeah, that's why she's made out of chrome. And I guess that's what, you know, he may, may be like trying to do something like that just for the fame. Fuck me, got no answer to that. This is pretty sick though, We're just chilling out here watching reruns. Looking at him now, those really were the best of times. Playing fucking rat infested dumps, argued before every gig, had no idea what we wanted to play, and never had Ned do our name. Nancy? Control freak. Henry smelled like zappers and piss. I was always stealing your pants. Hella good times, man. Still in touch with the gang. Just Nance. Changed her name to Bess Isis. Works for N54 News. Ah, I knew I recognized her. Good. Track down Denny and Henry if you want. Oof. Maybe get together? You know, jam or something? Or bring back the samurais. Bess Isis, damn, Nance really went for it. Though all I hear is part-time stripper with a thing for ancient Egypt. Shame you died. Sure she would have welcomed your input. How is she in general, besides having nothing to do with music? Could ask her yourself. True that, dude. Henry probably killed his own liver. Nah, I would have heard if he was gone. Got mutual friends. Few calls and I should be able to track him down. Oh sick, everyone's still here. Denny might still be in the biz. Actually had talent. And the spine. Yeah, released something not too long ago. Moved to North Oak too. You just so, said you weren't in touch. Didn't hear from her. I think she might be avoiding me. You ever leave this house? Nope. <laughs> Let's do it, dude. You want to bring Samurai back? Nah, no. Could do one gig, play some dive where nobody plays us. I mean, got my reputation to think about. But I won't have to explain what happened. All this. Nah, we'll spare him. Hella boring story. Pile <laughs> chips, Arasaka's evil schemes, magic pills. We'll just say you're my new input. All right. All right, let's do it. Fuck yeah! Okay! Send you Nancy's number in a sec. I'll go after Henry and Denny. Hmm, I'm not there, figure it out with V. Sure, uh, you two get along? Not lately, no. Wait, what? We don't have much of a choice, though. I guess that dialogue's oh just the standard, isn't there? Johnny, you okay? Ah, oh, we're back on V now. No. Ah, so you must be V. Johnny mentioned something like this might happen. Did you have a good time? You two have fun at least? <laughs> that a hint of disapproval I hear? Just sit tight for a bit. 
Rest. Don't worry about a thing. The hell is this concert thing? Did you hear that? Get sharper as the pills wear off. So? Want to see Samurai live? Probably won't get another chance. Damn, that sounds cool. What if this ends up like the rogue thing? One big letdown. Nah, this is different. Carrie needs this concert. Okay, calling Nancy. Fuck yeah, nice. Nice one, Basil brother. That view though, really sick uh, at night time. Uh, I mean, uh, Bess? Bess Isis? No, this is her underpaid, underappreciated assistant. Nope. Steven, N54 News, how can I help? Want to talk to Bess? She's not here. Carrie? Yeah, mention Carrie's name. Calling from Carrie Uridine's residence. Cool. But Bess still isn't here. She was supposed to be back two days ago. Went to the Totentons to shoot some stuff, story on Maelstrom. Call back next week or just watch the news. If anything happens to her, I'll be the first to cover it. Oh god, why is he smiling? What a feeling. Nutter. I think we better head to the Taunton tent. Can we take Carrie's car? That's the real question. I mean, I could just go down the road and buy it, but nah. <laughs> just use the fast travel point outside Carrie's residence and go all the way to the north side area of Night City over here to Perishing Street. Regina Jones, my favorite person in Night v, City! You know, wild screaming at Tone Tants isn't headline news. So we're starting the next part of this quest, Second Conflict, which is located just over here in the map in Northside. Now, this is the really important moment where you can actually potentially miss an iconic weapon. No matter what your choice is, you will miss one iconic weapon. So let me explain. If you remember, the last time you met the Maelstrom gang for the first time with Jackie during the quest called The Pickup, where you had to pick up the spider robot for Dexter Deshawn. Now, you actually had a choice on how you deal with the gang leaders during that quest. Firstly, if you sided with Royce, and most importantly, if you leave his sidekick Dum Dum alive during The Pickup quest, you can acquire his iconic pistol, Doom Doom. Now, just so you know, if you do kill Dum Dum in that quest like I did, he will not actually drop his iconic pistol Doom Doom until later, so you still completely miss it. So to get Doom Doom, you must kill Dum Dum or knock out Dum Dum during this quest, Second Conflict. He's already dead for me though, so I cannot actually get this iconic weapon for myself. But Doom Doom is an iconic pistol with a unique effect that lets it fire four rounds per shot, increasing damage, rate of fire, and the chance to dismember at the cost of increased recoil and bullet spread. It's one of the best pistols in the entire game, since you can also put a silencer on it and do ungodly amounts of damage. Note that if you want this pistol, Dum Dum must survive from player choice to get the weapon. You cannot just not kill him. You need to side with Royce and that allows him to survive. Now that said, if you don't kill Royce, you will actually miss out on getting Royce's iconic pistol. Royce's unique pistol is called Chaos and arguably if you have a look at its stats, it is actually much worse. Even when upgraded fully to legendary quality at the end of the game, it's still not as good as Doom Doom. And just so you guys know, even if you kill Royce later when you see him in the quest second encounter, which we're doing right now, he will not drop his iconic pistol either, which kind of sucks. So it's impossible to get both of these weapons. You need to make a choice to get one or the other. And if you're watching this video, you've probably already made that choice. But the third quest option is to kill both Royce and Dum Dum and obviously get Royce's iconic pistol Chaos and then you can optionally also free Brick from his cell in All Foods and then he'll actually become the Maelstrom leader, which is what I did. The only difference is, is that if you do that option, you can go in and out with no bloodshed. So now we'll see how this unfolds. All right, so here we are in Northside Industrial. Let's go and turn around. You can see this is the nightclub, the Maelstrom own. It's a pretty nutty place. Let's go ahead and go inside. What are you Fuck all starting to come together. No media would ever go for the Totten Tents. 
Except Nancy. But here we are. Come on, up you go. One second, Johnny. People look very friendly. Look at that jaw, that red jaw he's got. Pretty sick. Oh, there's an epic item in here, actually, before we do head upstairs. Carry undertone. Holy crap, Henry's on board. Way to go. Check out a rehab of his own free will. Through the window. Haha. <laughs> Some nurse tried to stop us. At first I thought she wanted an autograph, but she didn't even recognize me. Tell you the rest later. How's it going with Nancy? All under control, brother. That's what I like to hear. Now, obviously, uh, those clothing mods are going to be to your level. They won't be guaranteed epic. Now, this quest does actually change based on what your previous decisions were when you first met the Maelstrom gang with Jackie. So do bear that in mind. I'll explain it as we go on. Like your style. Cheers, bro. Minimalist. Bro. Used to have chrome just like that. Start moving. So we got into the Maelstrom gang. Now look at this guy. Completely full Talk of cyberware. Too? Fuck yeah. Third floor. And, and press the button. Well, my fingers are numb. <laughs> okay, well we're going now, dude. Mercy is for the weak. Love the graffiti in this game. Hear There's that? Music. Tinnitus today. Oh, guys. This one I like. I wonder if it's like tinnitus, a reference to titanus. When you listen to really loud music Later. and you have constant ringing in your ear. Go on. You'll blend in. No problem. Save the game here in case it kicks off, guys. Say what you want about the guy. At least your voice had some fucking charisma. Remember that tape from All Foods? That's the Jew who clucked the spider bot. No, 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 no. Wouldn't be that stupid to show here. You the one? Yeah, you got another one? Looking for Bess Isis. Guess I gotta spell it out. You the one who clipped the flathead? <laughs> We've got a cool 10 thing here. We can go for no idea what you're talking about. Sure did. Why? You got another one? Had to toss the first. Fucking Jagoff. Look at this. A chance at a nick in the barrel. Get the fuck out! Now! That's the all foods oh, part. I'm not blind! What do you want? What you in charge around here? You the one in charge now? No. A lot's changed since Royce went, but not that much. What happened to Royce? Militech happened! I think you know why! Bess Isis, mean anything to you? You work with her? No, just gotta talk. Heard she's here. She's here, but you talk to Brick first! Let's call what happens to you! I'll take you! Damn, that looks sick though, look at that! Brick took over for Royce after the All Foods incident. Seems like you all came out ahead, man. Probably thinking Brick will be grateful, huh? What? Yeah. That it disappoint you? No. And Brick's not in a position to demonstrate feelings of any kind. What does that mean? Yeah. If by alternative, you mean we don't give a fuck what people think. Okay. Then let's say extreme music. What's that mean to you? Look, lady. You keep trying to slap a label on us. No, I'm trying to understand you. Chaos, uh, a wall of noise, distortion. It's Brick, got another guest. V, what a surprise. What can I do for you? That's next. Looks like I'm interrupting. Wrapping up, actually. Bessie has overstayed her welcome. Yet I still haven't gotten answers to all my questions. Make something up. You're a journalist. Should be second nature. Say it's an orgy of noise or whatever. Should up the security, dude. 20 strength. Shut up your hustle on the Ebenike. Just there the other day. Your people didn't put up much of a fight. 
In that case, you should go back. I'll see to it they take good care of you. <laughs> Chill. Just some friendly advice. Appreciate it. Seems your people are holding a grudge. <laughs> hold those better than they hold their iron. Show a little understanding. Try not to piss them off. Carrie Uridine sent me, with some bids for Bess. Carrie? Did he suddenly remember I exist? You can go. Huh? Just like that? I ask you. No, that's what I thought. <laughs> I'm trying to run a business here. Thanks, Brick. That was enlightening. Let's go. Let's Delta. That's that. Right, I'm out. Power precision rifle. Now I already made a video on an iconic rifle you guys can do over a million damage with. I think I got like 6 million damage actually. So check that video out, I'll link it below if you're interested. all right sure just too bad he doesn't know squat about music that's what you wanted to talk to him about yeah tinnitus the totentant sound what i got out of brick was scop <laughs> throwing shapes <laughs> can't be stopped wait wait i want to leave all right i think we are done here in the maelstrom gang club let's go ahead and leave What was that? I opened the door and he like overreacted to that massively. Why is the elevator so damn slow in this dump? Why are you so old? After you. Cars outside. So what? Giving up on your story? I won't learn anything about Maelstrom's music. Got lots of footage. Need to look through it, see what I can patch together. So I've got that samurai merch though, innit? Nancy's a bit of the quiet type, isn't she? Not very talkative, considering it just saved her ass. Okay, come on. Fuck. Just hope the car's still where I parked it. Brick was the safe option. Really should have talked to the asses from tinnitus. You got some sort of in with them? Brick invited me to one of their gigs. Problem is the lineup changes every time. Who is that? Damn, that lady is like full cyberware, man. Oh, it's raining. Very nice. Wait, that's her car? But oh, she got Maelstrom all over it. Trying to blend in. Kill, kill, kill. Oh, for fuck's sake! Could have been worse. This way you got a souvenir. Fuck souvenirs. Oh, they graffiti. I'm headed it. straight back to the editing room. Wanna talk? Gotta come with me. Conquer like this. Hope it gets us there. One piece. Why don't we take my car? Oof. Alright. So what's Carrie want? Wants to bring back samurai. One gig, one night. There is no samurai without Silverhand. Gig be in his honor. Gonna stand in for Johnny. Gonna be a gig in Silverhand's honor. What's got into Carrie all of a sudden? Thought he got over this ages ago. Well, guess it doesn't really matter. What's in it for me? You and Carrie can decide that? You're gonna meet up with some old friends. Hmm. Very selfish. A reunion with some old friends. Ah, come on. Carrie and Johnny were friends. That's it. We just floated around, sometimes got in their way. So what do you want? An interview with Carrie? Huh. <laughs> Could write that myself, straight out of my ass. <laughs> I want access to all his industry contacts, associates. Not a problem. 
Not as far as I can see. Sounds pretty big deal, no? Right, let's go ahead and skip forward for the ride. Right, we're almost here. Oh Jesus, don't run over the NPCs. Goodness. We're here. Hop out. Alright, so, the concert? <sighs> Tell Carrie I'll put it together. Be in touch. Okay, thanks. Wait, aren't you gonna lock your car? Okay. Went pretty damn well. Now call Carrie. Nowadays, Max doesn't even take my calls. This is from Regina Jones. Well, Regina, I'm not surprised. I'm not gonna deal with your ex-boyfriend, Regina. Let's go ahead and give Carrie a buzz. Hey, so how'd it go? Talk to Nance? Yep, she agreed. Even said she'd organize the gig. Still a control freak. Awesome. Managed to contact Henry or Danny? Just Henry so far. Dragged him out of rehab. Great story, actually. Henry didn't know. Denny's been in Night City all this time. On his way over to see her now. Gonna be a surprise. We're all gonna meet over at Denny's. What, me too? Why? You're gonna play with us, aren't you? you gotta meet the others. Send you the address. Hell yeah, let's do it, man. Alright, so we gotta go over to Denny's, and Denny is also living in a big space spicy house over here on the map not even that far i feel like all the spicy houses in night city are right next to each other oh judy sent us a message check this out imaged attach hello from breezy oregon so that's the meaning to life the beach <laughs> that's what she says now nah, i'm more like sitting on my ass and doing nothing for once it's relaxing how's life in night city hanging in there could be better could be worse you're gonna figure it out v you always do gotta go the elders are summoning me what the hell kind of cult is she in on? Alright, so we're just here now outside Denny's mansion. Let's drive the Porsche up the front those? gate. Oh, what happened here? She must have been renovating. Henry must have borrowed the truck. Gonk always was good at improvising. Maybe they're home. Try the intercom. Before we do though, how do we follow this? Why did he park his car around the back? Oh, that's where the rest of them are. Should I bring the Porsche to the party? Here we are! See, Carrie beat us here. Did indeed. Why the hell is there a giant hole and tracks going through? What you has... You fucking got? Who boy. Danny, what? Sounds sadly familiar. What are you doing here? Oh my god. This is really your house? V. This is your uh, fucking pool? We got a problem. You're gonna yeah, we pay do. for this, you piece of shit. You oh, bet boy. I will. Just so I can come back again. Maybe then you'll tell me why the hell you left me to die in the street. Left you to die? Ugh, I wish you would fucking die. Why am I even standing here talking to you? I feel like there's a lot of history here. Get the fuck out! What, now? This... Already? No grand tour? Is this Henry's surprise then? Introduce me to the This is supposed to be Henry's surprise. Yeah, oh, I obviously missed a few dead. beats. Looks like he I was kid holding you some not, sort of grudge. I'm a so he flooded the pool off. with concrete. Henry oh, did often what? get emotional. They don't know. Very emotional. You know don't what know happened what? between them? That I lost years From of my what life I've come to understand, bag like one day, Denny disappeared without a word. Yeah. Then hid from Henry. I imagine that wasn't yeah, too hard in his it. state of mind. Either I'm out of it or of a lot yeah. more than you. Yep. That is, till I gave Henry her address. Oh boy. What about the concert? What about the concert? Haven't gotten a chance to ask Denny yet. Doesn't look good though. V, talk to them. Carrie will just make it worse. <laughs> uh, not really my biz. Go, oh, go. They'll get past it in a sec. Carrie didn't piss all over himself out of joy when he saw me either. Well, he almost did, to be honest. This your backup? In case you forgot why the hell you came here in the first place? Carrie sent me. 
about the concert. What concert? Why isn't he here talking to me? Carrie felt awkward about coming. Look, it's awkward. Carrie considers you both friends. What a sensitive guy. Shit. <laughs> Given he's the one who set this flaming turd bag on my doorstep. He is a bit of a flaming turd bag, isn't he? Samurai, we're reuniting. Some we'll bring it back samurai. Davis. One night only. This gonna take That's what he wants to get the crew together for? Sweet, but no fucking way. Not about to play with this shit stain. Danny! No, no way. Either him or me. Choose. Danny digs in her heels. We're done. How's it going? Like shit, man! Danny wants me out of the gig! And we already agreed on everything! What? Carrie's paying you? That's what this is about? Fuck. It's all fucking great. So you get him away from me and get the fuck off my lawn! Don't make me choose. Actually, it's your decision, Johnny. Pretty sure it's your call. Fuck really pisses me off. Denny's on a control kick, setting conditions. On the other hand, Henry's got scop for brains. Can't trust him. Thanks. Real helpful. I think I've made my decision, but maybe if I know the story. Maybe if someone would tell me what happened. Are you blind? Fucker filled my pool with cement. Maybe he had a good reason. Really? A reason? I think it's pretty much digging up the past at this point. I mean, Jesus Christ, what did he do? You out of your fucking mind with the pool? You knew Carrie wanted to get Danny to play with us. Just wanted to clear the air. Fucking Prem. Literally. You gotta go without one or the other. Uh, yeah, not a problem. Should be able to borrow someone else for one gig. Won't be the same, though. It won't ever be the same, Carrie. Rather jam with Henry or jam with Denny. Now, she is holding a golden baseball bat. Got There's a texture bug me? at the moment. But um, basically, if you choose Henry, she will get annoyed and she'll rage Got off. She'll throw the baseball me? bat in the pool and you can pick it up. So... If you choose Denny, she'll actually give it to you as a gift, as a reward. Well, so it really does not matter what choice you make here. You can still grab the golden baseball bat for yourself. So I am going to actually pick Denny, Henry though, because I think she is the most reasonable person. I think Henry is a bit nuts. I don't know what happened between them, but she doesn't seem like the kind of person to go crazy like this. Got some on your mind, Ugh, If we got to choose, let's play with Denny. Fuck, Carrie! Seriously?! She's the one making a big deal out of this, not me! Listen, I'll get you- You know what, Carrie? Fuck you! Good thing Silverhand isn't here to see this. You done? Get out. All right, what about Nancy? We make contact. She's gonna set it all up and let us know. See you at the show. Fuck. Now I gotta find someone to clean this up. Okay, about all we can do for now. Except wait for Nancy to call. My god. And now we have the golden plated baseball bat. A gold plated bat. Rare iconic weapon. I don't have any melee perks invested in my character, so as you can see it does 1977 damage per second. 5 attacks per second, very very fast for a baseball bat blunt weapon. Fast as a katana in fact. Infused with Denny's Rage, so it has a high chance of applying bleeding. Low chance to apply stun. <laughs> Infused with Denny's Rage, that is such a hilarious description. But essentially what this weapon is, is it works like a katana, but it's a melee weapon that's a blunt weapon. So it basically um, scales off the blunt damage but attacks as fast as a katana. So pretty damn awesome weapon for sure. Grab that bad boy for yourself. Let's ask her if everything's okay. Everything okay? No, just the sight of that douche wad reminded me how not okay it is. Don't worry though, I'll be past it by showtime. Wonder what Henry did to her. So his fault after all. Well, normally Denny's not a raging bitch. We're pretty sure she knew Henry wanted this concert. Hmm, doubt she really gave a fuck about the pool. 
He really knew how to oof her. I wonder what the history is. Like, if we can find something, like some kind of a uh, audio log or some kind of reference that explains what happened here. She has a very nice convertible car, though it's not as cool as Kerry's car. All right, we are done here, and her garden is completely destroyed after our little visit. So let's go ahead and wait a day for Nancy to actually call us. And just skip time 24 hours. Here we go. Hey. Gigs all set up super sweet like tonight at the red dirt talk to Kerry didn't change his mind or anything No, no, not at all. He's pretty stoked. In fact, haven't seen him like this since the silver hand days What about Henry still not on board? <sighs> didn't even try not wasting my breath on that dick tip Well, so see you tonight and don't worry about your axe got the gear all rounded up I mean, Guy was in rehab. No one seems to like him. I feel like we made the right decision. Alright, so now we've got our next quest to go and play with the Samurai Bat. So we can go ahead and fast travel all the way down here on the map to the Red Dirt. Alright, we're here outside the Red Dirt and you can see things are already shaping up to be pretty damn popular. My name is the Legion, for there are many of us. Is that a uh, reference to, uh, I feel like it is an easter egg, right? That quote. No one. This job. Sometimes it's hurry up and wait. Fuck this country. Wait a sec, isn't this where Samurai no. played his first gig? Ah, oh, what a night. There are still legends about it. Music was so loud they had to replace all the windows. They made a new rule refusing service to new customers. There's a special on the menu just for samurai fans. Ribs a la Silverhand. Pricey, sure, but you won't stop licking your fingers. You lied. You don't have anything exclusive on the menu. I was really excited. I thought they had like some kind of exclusive food here, but no. All right, let's just wait on the steps here till no the evening. One. This job. Sometimes it's hurry up and wait. Through that. Ah, hello. Hey, V. V. Got something for you. Don't know if you know, but once upon a time, this was Silverhands. Wow. Fuck, Nancy just gets shit done. She just whispered Mikoshi in her ear. We'll be all set. Thanks for putting this together. Hey, thanks for putting the gig together. Please. Carrie couldn't twiddle his own asshole without my help. Silverhand was probably the same. Huh, worse. At least Carrie did what I told him to do, kept out of my hair. Wanna tell me what happened with Henry? How about you tell me what happened with Henry? Ancient history. Kept falling into all sorts of crap, then I'd have to dig him out. You got tired of getting your hands dirty all the time. All wrong. Managed to get him a gig with a decent band. Henry quit using, got his shit together, things were going great, so he booted me out of his life. Stop needing you. Stopped needing you. For a little. Made it a month partying with his new pals. Then they tossed him out because he started acting up again. Ran into him on the street, total mess. Gonk even fainted for effect, a tug at my heartstrings. What did you do? Left him right there and made damn sure he couldn't find me again. <laughs> you live in like the biggest house in Night City though. How are you feeling ahead of the show? Weird, like I'm about to pretend to be myself. Plus, Johnny's out. Never thought I'd say I missed the bastard, but I damn well do. <laughs> you see how smug Johnny looked? Oh, that was a really cool little detail when she said that. That's adorable. Where's Carrie? Where's Carrie? Should be here any minute. Told me you play really well. Better be true, because there won't be a dress rehearsal. Well, luckily, we've got our fake Johnny. Right. Can't let that full house down. Honestly, I've got no idea who these people are. Just strays. Carrie didn't want word to get around. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. You 
Think the media caught wind of this? For sure. Hyenas. I'd worry more about Henry's replacement. Carrie got Drowson from Cutthroat to join us. I know him. Seen him play. And? He any good. He's fine. Just fine. You're the mystery dish here. Pill time. Just be discreet. And if I start puking blood again? Don't go making a scene. This is Carrie's big nut. Got a feeling Nancy doesn't think I can keep up with them. Well, she's right. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not even playing. Ready to thrash? <laughs> we just entered the toilet. Johnny Silverhand appears. Are you ready to thrash? So, ready? <laughs> oh, I'm ready, Johnny. <laughs> Oh boy! I don't know. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Now you mention it? It's getting worse. Maybe this gig isn't worth it. Fine, go out and play. I'll just sit back, tend to my bleeding ears. Okay. Fine. You got me. Have fun. Here we go. <coughs> Did I just spit it out? Oh, it looked like I spit it out. Interesting. Something came out, right? Okay, well. Let's motor. Sick. That's why they put the mirror there, isn't it? There you are. This is Drowson from Cutthroat. Hey, big fan, huge fan. You too? Got all their albums? I mean, I never Chill, dreamed of them. He's in the same boat as you. Want to talk to a star? Talk to me. And get that shake it under control. I think my shakes are the same. Or worse. Crowd got you stressed, or is it me? Fuck you. And missed you too. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Alright. Let's do this. I like how V's cool in the shots. Get the hell 
<laughs> that guy in front of us is just like... That, that sounded great. This is fucked up. What is? Actually, got pretty nervous for this thing. Felt like I had something to prove. To myself, to you, and whoever the fuck. But all I did was have a good time. That's it. Want to do an encore gig? Losers always say they were just there to have a good time. <laughs> Want to do it again? Huh? No. That was enough. In that case, here. Take it. As a souvenir. You sure? Won't play without you. Just wouldn't be the same. See what you're doing here. But I still plan on playing. Oh, it's so heart fulfilling. Hmm. You want to hear a new Johnny? Oh, he's gone, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, but he can still hear you. Thanks, but not in the mood for hovering tables and voices from beyond the grave right now. Maybe you should hang on to this, actually. What is it? It's invisible. Uh, how's the gig? Hello, Prime. <laughs> Samurai's found its new growth. Damn shame I had to miss it. There. Nah, you can still come to my show. You shouldn't have, really. The very gun I tried to shoot Johnny with. When he broke into my house. Meaning you tried to shoot me. Yeah. And earlier. And never mind. Cool. Feel like I fell asleep and woke up 50 years later. Back to work then. Take care of me. I'll be in touch. Well, it wasn't so bad, was it? Too bad care's gone off. Looked like Carrie was in a big hurry. Guess he had somewhere to be. Badly. Probably writing a new song as we speak. <laughs> Isn't that what you wanted? To make him feel better? Better, but not that good. Johnny, don't ever leave me again. I can't live without you. <laughs> a little of that could go a long way. <sighs> Hope that's it for last requests. Maybe. Now you get a chance to do what you will. Gotta go talk to Hanako. Fast. Okay. Your choice. And that is in regard to the ending of the story. Now we've finished off Johnny's main quest line. However, there's a little bit more to come with his Ready friend, come on. Kerry. Let's go. So this is the iconic weapon Kerry just gave to us. It is the Arch Angel Revolver, and it is a pretty sick looking revolver. Now it's not the best revolver in the game. However, it is still a very good weapon. If we take a closer look at it, you can see it has a iconic effect that deals electrical damage with a chance to apply a stun and has significantly reduced recoil. An angel of a weapon with a devil's attitude. A piece of art that should never waste away in a display case, apparently. Now you can obviously upgrade this to legendary quality. If you follow my pistol build, you can literally one-hit kill everything in the game using this pistol. Uh, I'll make a full video about breaking it down, how to upgrade it and what the best stats are. And I'll link it down below for you guys if you're interested. But that is it for today's video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
I thought it was pretty damn cool sort of closure to the samurai doing the final gig with the rest of the band definitely enjoyed that so let me know if you guys did in the comment section let me know what you thought and uh, I will see you guys in the next video have a lovely day and goodbye